Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hello again, everyone. Thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act 2. As you can see, my co-partner and founder of uh, Celebrating Act 2, Art Kirch, and I are not only waving, we're with our favorite Hollywood historian, Manny Pacheco. Manny, great to see you again. Well, always happy to be with you guys. Hey, hey sure. Manny, if I said something yeah. like, and the winner is, what would that bring to mind? Well, it brings to mind something very special. Um, for years now, it seems, uh, they've been trying to open the new Academy Museum of Motion Pictures. Mm -hmm. And they've had false opening ideas and promises, and it just hasn't come to fruition. And then, of course, when they had everything in place and all the, di the I's dotted and the T's crossed, we ended up with a pandemic which extended the... Uh, the brand new uh, opening, the grand opening of this museum. So finally, it's been announced that uh, this museum will open on September 30th, and they're going to actually have tickets for uh, visitors available beginning August 5th at 9 a.m., which is just right around the corner. How about that? Mm. Well, that's that's a big event, and they will need tickets. Uh, they'll be lying around the corner. Yes. You know, people want to go to something, uh, get out of their houses, visit uh, something exciting. And why not something brand spanking new at the site of the old May Company? You might recall they kind of kept the whole configuration of the May Company, which was a, a legendary department store right at the site where this uh, museum is going to be. And it's a great place for a family friendly place for, for folks to, to head on out and spend an afternoon or maybe a whole day of it. I think it's so great. So what's really going to be, what's um, going to be special about this? Uh, I mean, it, it, it's almost uh, uh, unbelievable to me that actually this doesn't exist. I've seen so many exhibits in so many different places and so many movies on the movie industry. It's just hard for me to conceive that there, there was never a, a comprehensive museum. Couldn't agree with you more. I, I agree. I mean, there are, uh, television museums, the Paley Center in New York and in Lo and Beverly Hills in Los Angeles. Uh, that's That's been around for a while, of course. And there have been a variety of other specialty museums of sorts, but never one that's been sanctioned by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. That's a big deal because you know when you walk into this museum, you're getting the authentic uh, costumes, the uh, authentic experience, and the events are going to be quite special. And when, before I get into the specifics of what they're going to offer, let me just mention that the journey to this moment has also been um, a heartfelt journey with uh, individuals who have really gone out of their way to make this happen. And these are names that I think you're going to be very familiar with. Tom Hanks has been very active in getting this museum up and running, as has Martin Scorsese and um, and um, uh, Steven Spielberg. So these are big names that want to see this museum up and running. It, it's a great companion where I can see... Um, the zenith of, of visitation would be during the times when the Oscars go out. Um, I, I just think it's, it's, it's you, as you put it, Art, it's just unfathomable that this museum hasn't existed. So mm. there you go. You know, actually, um, yeah. about 10, I think it's kind of may have been 12 or 13 years ago, there was uh, an exhibit, and I, I'm trying to think of why I thought it was in Irvine. I actually went to see it several times. The uh, uh, Museum of the Moving Image, which I think was based in New York. I may have the name slightly wrong, but they have this wonderful, right. wonderful. Uh, uh, actually, it was at the Discovery Cube. That's where I think I saw it uh, in uh, Santa yeah. Ana. And uh, it was a wonderful exhibit. And in fact, mm -hmm. uh, I was a part of a group that was trying to, because they were going to dismantle it after they finished uh, showing it here, uh, I was part of a group that was trying to get it to be permanently housed uh, here on the west coast maybe in irvine actually we were trying to do something with the old marine base and thought that might be a centerpiece of it uh but it was uh, especially given that experience the fact that the academy uh who, who was so active in so many things like restoring old films and things like that didn't already have this so what's going to be special about this 
Well, first, let me just say what a worthy endeavor it was for you to be part of that, to, to, to save whatever kind of Hollywood exhibits that are special. So that kudos to you, Art. One of the big things they're going to do is what they call the Oscars experience, which is an immersive simulation where you give guests the experience of walking on stage at the Dolby Theater in Hollywood and you actually get to accept an Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like fun. It is. That would be that would be a lot of fun. I'd like to I'd like to have my day right there in the spotlight and and sure. and, and thank and thank the Academy for the uh, for the accolade. <laughs> Don't forget your mother, father, and your uh, your agent, and uh, you you get the oh, idea. I get. Wait, the wait. Idea, yes. He said in the movies, was it James Cagney? Said my mother thanks you, my father thanks you. I'm going to use that line. Uh, that was yeah. a Yankee Doodle Dandy. Or, Something like that. That's right. <laughs> well, some of the uh, the early ex exhibitions that they have announced, uh, Stories of Cinema, uh, it's a Hayao Miyazaki, The Path to Cinema, highlights from the Richard Balzer collection, and Backdrop, an invisible art. So there's at least four exhibits that they already have planned as you walk through the door. And I think it's going to be uh, really just a way to take some really great pictures. I, I, I'm planning on being there. I've already asked for my press passes. I can't wait to, to see this uh, unfold. I think the grand opening would be pretty exciting. I'm hoping to, to maybe be there the first day. That would, be a, that would be a real treat, a thrill for sure. Hmm. That would be fun, yeah. And of all people, you should be there. Yes. <laughs> It would be fun. I, I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm trying to get my press credentials, so we'll see. I may have to actually reach into my pocket and buy tickets, but if I'm entitled to those press credentials, you bet I'm going to use them. <laughs> or, you know, if not, maybe we'll do a GoFundMe for you. Okay, yeah. so, the, so you can take two of your favorite sidekicks. And that the words That's out right. of your mouth better be uh, John and Art, okay? Maybe That's... we can do a GoFundMe. And, of course, we'll stay over at a hotel for about three, four days, a couple of days before to acclimate, a couple of days afterward just to uh, let it all sink in. So, yeah, $10,000 should do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, here's some, some, you know, standard information I think you need to know. The Academy of Museum will be open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Sunday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Friday and Saturday. The Oscars experience will be available 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Sunday through Thursday, 9 to 9, Friday and Saturday. So, And they will be required to follow all COVID-19 public health guidelines. So that's important. And where is the Academy of Motion Pictures uh, Museum? It's located at 6067 Wilshire Boulevard. Again, it's the old May Company building right there uh, along the Miracle Mile in the Wilshire District. Hmm. Yeah. Well, it'll be a, a it'll be a must see when uh, fans come to for the Academy Awards or for any visit to Hollywood. That's right. I think that's one of the go to places if you're traveling from out of town and you want to visit the Dolby Theater and the Grauman's Chinese Theater and all the wonderful places that you just love to go to that that really spell out Hollywood land. Well, this will be a must. The Academy Museum. For so, sure. as as the uh, as the uh, uh, historian uh, par excellence of things forgotten, uh, I hate to be Debbie Downer, but could you call your friends at the Academy and tell them that they forgot to put any videos, any movies, any stories, any moving images on the museum website to maybe show that it was getting constructed? Do you think so? Uh, well, so, you know what? Tell them that movies and video are a very effective way to tell a story, and they might want to include some on the website. I was really dumbfounded that they were not up there yet. Well, I agree, but keep in mind that this is a, I mean, this was scheduled to open. I mean, we're talking maybe 2014, 2015, and, and the, the, the on again, off again relationship of when this was going to open has been so weathered that um, they may have had that idea six years ago, but, uh, you know, I think they just want to get this thing up and running. But I can guarantee you one thing, Art. I think once they're they're good to go and they got the, the visitors, I think you're going to find the, the website to be just as interactive and just as fun as, as, as visiting the site itself. I think they're going to start putting up video and things like that. I think that that's, that's in the offing, so look for that. Good. Good. 
Well, M Manny, I, I hope we get to see you uh, soon after, if not at the opening. Absolutely. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.